Before anything, it's my honor to be standing in such a distinguished forum and talk to you on Afghan problems. For 25 years, we Afghans have been deprived of this occasion. For 25 years, our children have known only bloodshed and fear. We have become more accustomed to the sounds of bullets, rockets. Our cities have been destroyed. The clamor of industry, the murmur of enterprises, the fragrance of roses, and the smell of pines, which was full once most of our cities have disappeared. Cities have a central role to play in the reconstruction of our nation. We are fully aware. We come to Vancouver with renewed confidence in our gaining daily in our conviction that we can and indeed are advancing forward with our plans and hands for the future. Peace is essential for any development. Our presence here we feel is in some way symbolic of our opportunity to cement this peace through the partnership with you people. We desire peace in our country, in our region, and the world as whole. For 25 years, actually, we had no assistance, no private sector investment, no urban administration, organization or management to speak of. My cities have been partly abandoned and significantly decapitated. I do need to call to mind our baseline of poverty, just to mention that illiteracy rate, the illiteracy rate in Afghanistan is around 70 percent, average life expectancy is 43, infant and maternal mortality rates are comparable with the sub-Saharan countries, not least our traditional approach to women retards their de development, denies their potential and severely limited their access to opportunities of all kinds. These characteristics make Afghanistan a special challenge requiring very special attention from you distinguished people here.